It is one thing to pray and it is another to receive answers to the prayers that you have prayed. When it comes to God and prayers, He always answers your prayers. The Bible says all the promises in Him are yes and amen. And when God answers prayers, He gives signs. But the problem is your inability to recognize this sign. So in this video, I want to give you 10 signs that validates God has answered your prayers. Welcome back. The first sign God has answered your prayers is inner peace. When you break through in prayer, the first signal God will give you is peace within your inner man. When you are praying, you realize that there is no peace. But immediately you break through in prayer, peace settles within your inner man. This is a sign that God has answered your prayer. Now you need to understand that the first answer to every prayer is intangible. It's not physical. It's always a supernatural knowing within your spirit. And that precedes the physical manifestation of the actual answer. So when you miss that inner signals that God gives you, you may end up missing the physical manifestation of the answer itself. God is a God of peace and he always speaks peace. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 says, Be careful for nothing, but in all things, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So this scripture is telling us that the first sign God has answered your prayer is that peace within you. So when you are praying and there is no peace within you, it's like God is telling you, keep praying, I'm working it out. So you need to continue praying until that peace settled within you. Immediately the peace settled within you, you can rest assured that the answer will manifest physically. The second sign God has answered your prayers is inner resistance. When God answers your prayers, He will resist you from praying further. Now this resistance comes from within. You sense within you something is resisting you from praying further. Now this happens after God has spoken to you severally about what you are praying about and you continue to disturb God with prayers, God will then resist you from praying further. I have experienced what I'm sharing with you years ago. I misplaced my certificate and I prayed about it fervently. And anytime I'm praying about it, the Lord drops in my spirit that I should go to a place where I went and photocopied my certificate and other documents. My certificate is there. I should go for it. But I kept on praying and the voice kept speaking. So it got to a point that I couldn't pray any longer. Anytime I want to pray, I felt resistance within my spirit. So I gave up and I obeyed the voice. I went to the very spot where God was directing me. And when I got there, my certificate was there waiting for me. So this resistance is a gentle resistance within your inner man, telling you to stop praying. In 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 1, God told Samuel to stop praying for Saul because he has rejected him. The third sign God has answered your prayers is inner witness or inner knowing. God bears witness with your spirit in your inner man indicating that he has answered your prayers you just know without a doubt that it is done you can't explain it it is just a knowing within your spirit you know without a doubt that god has answered your prayers it is a supernatural conviction beyond doubt romans chapter 8 verse 16 says the Spirit, the Holy Spirit himself, bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And in Romans chapter 9 verse 1 says, 
our conscience also bearing as witness in the Holy Ghost. So whenever God answers your prayer, this witness, this knowing is going to be a sign that he has answered your prayer. And most often we miss God because we are looking out for something dramatic, angelic visitation, dreams and vision, which are also one of the ways God may confirm things to you. But that is not the usual way. The usual way is your inner man, your spirit. That is where God drops his convictions. Just as when someone sends you money into your mobile wallet, you receive a message to alert you that the money has arrived. God also gives you an inner witness or inner convictions to inform you that he has answered your prayers in the spirit and you should wait for its manifestations. The fourth sign God has answered your prayer is by giving you a scripture. Now you got to understand that the Holy Spirit and the Word of God are one. So the Holy Spirit gives you scriptures to assure you of an answer to a prayer you have prayed. The Word of God is a sort of the Spirit. I quite remember I was having a misunderstanding with my boss and I prayed about it and the Holy Spirit gave me Exodus chapter 14 verse 14 and that scripture says the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace and when the Holy Spirit gave me that scripture things begin to change my boss began to change towards me and everything became fine so the holy spirit will give you scriptures to tell you that he is in control he is handling the situation so you should hold your peace the fifth sign god has answered your prayers is joy within your inner man joy within your spirit joy is always a sign that god is happy with you it's also a sign that god has answered your prayer god promised in isaiah chapter 56 verse 7 that he will make us joyful in the house of prayer and we shall possess double also in john chapter 16 verse 24 jesus christ assured us that we should ask the father whatever we want in his name so that we will receive and when we receive the sign is that our joy will be full so joy is a sign that god has answered your prayers that is why when people are healed people receive miracles they are filled with joy the sixth sign god has answered your prayers is that you begin to experience victory in spiritual warfare when god answers your prayers he gives you victory over your enemy. They are put to shame and you prevail over them. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57, the word of God says, Thanks be to God who always gives us the victory through Christ Jesus our Lord. So victory over the enemy in spiritual warfare is a sign God has answered your prayers. The seventh sign God has answered your prayers is that God speaks to you through dreams and vision. God will give you visions, reveal to you something you have been praying about in dreams. But I don't want you to always look up to God speaking to you through dreams and visions because dreams and visions sometimes misleads. The devil also gives dreams and visions. So I prefer relying more on the inner witness and the inner conviction than dreams and visions. That doesn't mean God does not speak through dreams and visions. He does, but once in a blue moon. But if you are in the prophetic, then you are going to see more visions and dreams. Sometimes in a dream, you see yourself crossing a river. It's a sign you have breakthrough in prayer and you have overcome your enemies. In Acts chapter 18 verse 9, Jesus Christ appeared to Paul and spoke to him, encouraged him to continue to preach the gospel. Also in Daniel chapter 2 verse 19, Daniel prayed for the interpretation of the king's dream 
and God revealed a secret to him in a night vision. God can speak to you through dreams and vision to confirm an answer to a prayer. The eighth sign God has answered your prayers is absence of confusion or let me say clarity of mind. When you are praying, when you are asking God for something, immediately you kneel down to pray your mind is filled with confusion. The devil brings pictures, images of some nasty things you did years ago to confuse your mind. As you continue to persist and pray, a time will come when you experience clarity of mind and peace of mind. And that is a sign you have breakthrough. It's a sign God has answered your prayers because God is not an author of confusion. You will be full of certainty that God has answered your prayers. In Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7, God said, For your shame you shall have double, and for your confusion you shall rejoice. So when the answer comes, God will take away confusion from your mind, from your spirit, as a sign He has answered your prayers. The ninth sign God has answered your prayers is you are full of faith. God will give you faith to assure you that what you have prayed for has been answered. That everything is alright. You should just wait for the physical manifestation of the answer. The Bible says faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith within your spirit is an evidence, an assurance that your prayer will manifest in the physical. First John chapter 5 verse 4, the Bible said, faith is the victory. Faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Your faith is the victory that overcomes the world. So whatever situation you are in that you are praying about, God will give you faith to assure you that you have overcome. Jesus also said, men always ought to pray and not faint. And he asked a question, when the Son of Man come, will he find faith on this earth? Which means that when you pray, faith will be imparted in your spirit as an assurance that God has answered your prayers. The tenth sign God has answered your prayers is you begin to experience divine connections. God will connect you to your destiny helpers. People will come into your life just to help you without you asking them. And it is a sign God has answered your prayers. Sometimes you'll be praying for something and a fellow brother or sister in Christ will just call you and say, oh, I have this thing in my room. I'm no longer using it. Do you need it? And you become surprised because that is the very thing you are praying for. And that is how God sometimes works, miraculously, connecting you to your destiny helpers. In Isaiah chapter 43 verse 4, God said, because you are precious in his sight and because you are honorable and he has loved you, he will give people for your life. Now, one thing you need to understand as a Christian is that there are two manifestations of an answer to a prayer. The first one occurs within your spirit, your inner man. It's intangible. You can't see it. It's a knowing within the, your spirit that God has answered your prayers. And the second manifestation to an answered prayer is the physical manifestation where whatever you are praying for manifests physically on this earth. So when you miss the spiritual manifestation, you may end up missing the physical manifestation of the answer. So that is why I made this video to let you know the signs that God has answered your prayers so that you wait patiently for the manifestation. Thank you for watching this video and I hope this video has blessed you. Subscribe to this channel and share this video so that others can be blessed. See you in my next video. God richly bless you.